It's said that first impressions are everything. So when it comes to roller coasters, the first drop is what'll set the tone. They come in all shapes and sizes. Some are great and some are not so great. In this video, we'll be listing our favorite first drop from each major roller coaster manufacturer. And then at the end, reveal our three favorite drops from the list. Because we're America's Coaster Network, this will be based on coasters in the United States. Sorry, rest of the world. Okay, starting off this alphabetical list is... Aerodynamics sure went out with a bang. X, now called X2, at Six Flags Magic Mountain would be their last coaster before filing for bankruptcy in the same year of its opening, 2002. The first drop on X2 is unlike anything else we've been on. Nothing gets the adrenaline pumping quite like leaving its lift hill backwards and rotating face down as you fall 215 feet at 88.5 degrees. This is followed by a flip to your back at the bottom of the drop which leaves you looking up at where you just fell from. You'll do all of this while reaching a top speed of 76 miles per hour. It's one incredible experience which is sure to leave you breathless. Bolligar Mabillard has quite the resume of incredible coasters, including a total of 15 hyper coasters and 3 giga coasters. Raging Bull at Six Flags Great America, which is on the shorter end of those models, has our favorite drop from them. But what makes the drop on Raging Bull so great is the incredible airtime you get in the back row. Thanks to the pre-drop at the top of the lift hill, the train is fully disengaged from the chain and the back row gets violently pulled down the first drop of 208 feet, where you'll reach a top speed of 76 miles per hour. Custom Coasters International was the premier wooden coaster manufacturer in the 90s, and they built a bunch of coasters with amazing first drops. But none are as unique as the one on Boulder Dash at Lake Compounds. We love how the track gracefully hugs the train and splits through the forest of trees during its 115 foot drop. Preserving as many trees as possible really paid off. If only other parks realized this. Its top speed might be only 60 miles per hour, but it feels much faster. DH Morgan built a total of only eight roller coasters from the mid 90s into the mid 2000s ranging from one of the tallest in the world to smaller family-friendly models. But their best drop comes from one in the middle, that being Steel Eel at SeaWorld San Antonio, a junior hyper. While its drop is only 150 feet, it somehow has better airtime than any of their taller rides. And you reach a respectable speed of 65 miles per hour, which, by the way, stings your face when you're riding in the rain. Gerschlauer is known for building steep first drops. In fact, they hold the record for the steepest first drop on a coaster. TMNT Shellraiser at Nickelodeon Universe has a first drop of 121.5 degrees. But our favorite drop by them is Hang Time at Knott's Berry Farm. It may be only 96 degrees, but a couple of things put it at the top for us. The holding brake at the top gives you a moment to take in the beautiful view from 150 feet up. And unlike Shellraiser with over the shoulder restraints, Hang Time has the much preferred lap bar. There's also some nice air time going down the drop as you max out at 56 miles per hour. Great Coasters International, who is known for their graceful and curving first drops, did something they hadn't done too often. With Terminator Salvation the Ride, now called Apocalypse the Ride, at Six Flags Magic Mountain, they built a shallow curving drop off the lift hill that transitions into a steeper straight drop through the structure of the lift, followed by a turn in the opposite direction. The combination of getting pulled down the drop, having a change in direction, and having excellent head choppers puts this at the top of our GCI first drops. The drop is 87 feet and riders reach a top speed of 50 miles per hour. Intamin is another one of those manufacturers that have such an extensive list of roller coasters with great first drops. But none are better than the one on El Toro at Six Flags Great Adventure. After departing the lift hill at 181 feet in the air, you're taken around a flat turn to the left before plummeting 176 feet down its 76 degree drop. The third steepest on any wooden coaster in the US, reaching an impressive 70 miles per hour. The third fastest on any wooden coaster in the world. If you're sitting in the back row, you get absolutely yanked down the drop. 
The ejector airtime is phenomenal. Mock Rides really knocked it out of the park when they built Time Traveler at Silver Dollar City. There's almost no time to question your choice to ride, because unlike a traditional coaster with a long and slow lift hill, you'll be taking a 90 foot drop at 90 degrees directly out of the station. And if that's not enough of a thrill, you'll do it while sitting in a car that freely rotates which creates a different ride every time. If you sit in the back row, you'll get yanked down the drop and find yourself sideways halfway down. It's highly recommended. We'd love to see more like it pop up throughout the country. We're looking at you Six Flags Magic Mountain. More rides isn't exactly well known in the US. Now they do have one high profile ride with Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket Universal Studios Florida, but we don't have anything good to say about that one. On the other hand, if you ever find yourself in Arkansas, go take a ride on an X Coaster at Magic Springs. Its first drop is very unconventional. It starts off with you being upside down at the top of the lift hill 151 feet in the air, followed by a spiral that will invert you one more time before taking its first and only drop, reaching a top speed of 65 miles per hour before the ride quickly ends. Premier Rides has primarily built launch coasters, and when we say primarily, we mean they've only built one coaster with a lift hill. So by default, Runaway Mountain at Six Flags Over Texas has the best drop on any Premier Rides coaster. The maximum height of the coaster is 65 feet. Not sure what the drop itself is because it wasn't listed on Roller Coaster Database or anywhere else. With a top speed of 40 miles per hour, it isn't much. At least Runaway Mountain has the advantage of being in the dark. Rocky Mountain Construction has a lot of contenders in this category, including Outlaw Run and Iron Gwazi. But at the top is Steel Vengeance at Cedar Point. No matter where you sit, you'll be floating down its 200 foot drop at 90 degrees where you reach a top speed of 72 miles per hour. Sit in the back row and you will experience some serious ejector airtime. We just can't get enough of it. And it's also one incredibly beautiful view from the top. SNS Sansei, with the help of designer Alan Schelke, created one incredible first drop with Steel Hog at Indiana Beach. It might not be a big drop, but at 111 degrees, you'll be wondering where the track went as you round the turn after the lift hill, and then be pulled out of your seat as the car gets sucked up under the drop. It's a low top speed of only 41 miles per hour, but it doesn't matter. The drop gets us every time. The Gravity Group took no time creating amazing roller coasters after splitting off from Custom Coasters International. The Voyage at Holiday World was only their second coaster, but they did so much right with it. Starting with a first drop of 154 feet that'll leave you floating out of your seat the entire time. Helped out even more by the very generous PTC lap bars. At 66 degrees, it's one of the steeper drops on a wooden coaster. At the bottom of the drop, you'll reach a top speed of 67 miles per hour. Vacoma, up until recently, wasn't really doing a lot of things right. However, in the early 2000s, they did nail it with their giant inverted boomerang models. Which is why Aftershock at Silverwood is the clear winner for the best drop from Vacoma. At least until Circuit Breaker opens at Codaland in Austin, Texas. It's quite the experience to have all your weight pressing down on the over the shoulder restraint as you're slowly lifted up the 90 degree first drop. Just hanging there, waiting for the train to drop. And when it does, you'll reach a top speed of 61 miles per hour. And now to the top three. In third place is Bolliger and Mabillard for Raging Bull at Six Flags Great America. Riding back row on this thing is some of the craziest and scariest airtime we've ever experienced on a coaster. You just gotta hope that the ride operator doesn't staple you. And now the runner up, which is Rocky Mountain Construction for the drop on Steel Vengeance at Cedar Point. We still don't know what it means to be America's rock and roller coast, but this drop is really awesome. And the winner for best first drop goes to Aerodynamics for the absolutely mind-blowing first drop on X2 at Six Flags Magic Mountain. It's unlike anything else that came before it, and 21 years later, still the only drop like it in the US. 
X2 should be at the top of everyone's bucket list for the drop alone. Okay, and with that, our list of best first drops by manufacturer is complete. What are some of your favorite first drops? And how would your list differ from ours? We'd love to know your thoughts, so drop a comment below. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.